Hey everybody, Dr. Sean here with an optimizing video. I get asked a lot, will you share your meals, what you're eating? So I'm actually, I've done that a few times, but a lot of people do it. But here's a new idea that I just thought of. I was going to my refrigerator, I said, what I really ought to do is show what's inside my refrigerator. It gives you a better idea of how somebody is really living instead of one meal. Who knows, maybe I just put together one little healthy meal. Of course, uh, that happens over and over again. I do not eat an unhealthy meal. Well, take a look inside Dr. Sean and I will ask the question, do you think this is the healthiest refrigerator in America or maybe the world? And if you don't think so, I'd love to have you give a comment and tell me why you think it's not or to maybe share why you think your refrigerator is more healthy than my refrigerator. But I uh, love the interaction of my audience, so let's take a look inside Dr. Sean's refrigerator. So, what do I have inside here? So, yeah, this is not a setup. I have done nothing special. I just was going to my refrigerator, and I said, yeah, I should probably do a video on what's inside my refrigerator. So, healthy aged cheeses, okay? I love aged cheeses. You know, I don't buy Kraft American singles. I buy like aged age Gouda, aged cheddars, blue cheeses, gargonzola, rocafoots. So I really like those. And then fermented kefirs, okay, fermented dairy, 100% grass-fed kefir from Maple Hill. I don't have any financial affiliation with any of these people I'm about to mention, okay? Um, Redwood Hills goat, goat's milk. I like fermented goat kefir and uh, fermented uh, uh, Kaluna. Uh, uh, super Supernatural Kaluna brand uh, kefir, uh, unflavored, unsweetened, no fruit added to my kefir. Uh, and then I have some milk because I'm fermenting my own. I make my own kefir using 100% grass fed milk. I got uh, Kaluna brand heavy whipping cream. Got some bone broth there. And Dr. Sean does drink coffee. Cold brew, make my own organic cold brew coffee. And I add a little bit of a uh, uh, Redmond's Real Salt into it, gives a nice flavor. And then I got fermented fruit in here. So I have fermented uh, cranberries. I have uh, uh, fermented uh, um, pomegranate juice. Dr. Sean likes fermented products and fruits. And I take those fruits and I eliminate the bad stuff. Take out the carbohydrates and firm by through fermentation, I got San Pellegrino. And I have a variety of different fermented kefirs, so, or kimchi. So I got fermented kimchi, I got fermented sauerkraut, fermented ginger with uh, fermented carrots. I have a variety of different ferments and fermented kvass, I have fermented pickles. And then I have my meat products. So I have my local grass-fed beef provider. I have some certified Pimani's. I don't have any financial interest in them, but really like this particular brand of grass, um, grass-fed beef has the lowest amount of muscling, uh, uh, adverse muscle marbling called myosteatosis uh, that I see in MRIs. And listen, I look at people all day long, uh, the ones that are healthy, uh, don't have muscle marbling, uh, don't have that myosteatosis. And cows that are fed a species-specific diet, a grass that's living and finished off that, they get low muscle marbling too. So I like that certified Pimani's. I got eggs, I got yogurt, I got 100% grass fed ghee, and I have a variety of different uh, meat products in there. So that's a, a look into Dr. Sean's refrigerator. It's all healthy stuff. I can sum it up this way no processed foods, it's got healthy animal products, and it's got fermented. Uh, fermented vegetables and fermented fruit. So I don't eat any vegetables, I don't eat any fruit unless it's been fermented to improve, make it more healthy, make it uh, uh, safer to, to digest, and also to increase the microbiome um, composition of those products. All right, well, I'd love to hear from you if you got any comments why you think um, you, there's uh, a healthy refrigerator or just to hear back from you. Uh, share this uh, video with other people so they can learn about this. And also, if you like this video, give it a like, hit the subscribe button, and consider hitting the alert button so you can get my content as it's proved up to date. All right, well, thank you very much for the opportunity to share optimizing health, health tips with you. Dr. Sean out.